I remember her casket. It felt surprisingly light. With cold October rain falling on our shoulders, my family and I left the small crowd at the small church and carried her small casket to rest, hoping my grandma's memory and body were restored and in a more wonderful place than where we found ourselves. Guilt ate away at me in the months following her funeral. Why didn't I spend more time with her? Why didn't I even try? Even now, I have to ask my mom about her. What was her sense of humor like? When was her birthday again? She fills in the gaps the best she can, but it's not the same. For Katie, dementia set in early. She would leave the stove on, walk through the neighborhood on a frigid, snowy Nebraska night in her usual dress but no coat. She would forget to eat and became almost a shadow. While her smile never faded, her memory and functionality did. When she moved into a nursing home, my family spent countless hours with her, reading to her, painting her nails, showing her pictures, and hoping for a glimmer, recognition, a spark that would let them know that she knew. But I hated her nursing home. I hated the smell, seeing my mom feed the woman who used to feed it all of us. I hated that she had to share a room, that I didn't know any of the staff taking care of her, and that they didn't seem to know that as a young daughter of Irish immigrants, she had beautiful red hair that faded to pink as she grew older, or that she was an amazing cook, or that dressing in pants was totally out of character for her, even if it was easier for them. But what I hated most was that I didn't know what she did when my family wasn't there. I hated thinking about her life in the nursing home, so I just didn't. Eventually, I graduated from college and moved away. I spent a little time with her before I left, said goodbye and I love you, and she said, nice to meet you, hope I see you again. I didn't think that a few months later, I spent my birthday carrying her back in one of her favorite dresses to lay her to rest. Often when I walk the halls of the home I work in, I wonder if Katie was lonely or scared or bored or sad. I wonder if anyone took the time to care for her and love her like I should have. My mom assures me she was happily demented, but I still wonder. Because everyone needs dignity. Everyone has a story.